fiscal year ending 15 budgeted our salaries we budgeted 286 810 we came in at 287 066 almost similar um, as we go down to benefits we budgeted one hundred eight thousand and forty four dollars we came in at 106 896 pretty much the same as we go down to operating costs we budgeted fifty four thousand three forty six we came in at fifty two thousand seven hundred and under contractual we budgeted 83,318 and we came in at 114,000 which was an increase of 31,600 in consulting. Before we go into the discretionary and going through the line items, if you take a look over to the side, we only have $5,000 under discretionary. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll, roll we'll, right. we'll keep going, absolutely. Yeah. As we go back up, I want to just make a mention about economic incentives. If you take a look, there's never been anything in this line until we go to FYE 16 for 298000 um, As we go out for 16, or I'm sorry, um, for forecasting, I'm, I think it's a typo, 17 and then 18, we're looking at 358 and 418000 Just to refresh everybody, for the people at home. These are the economic incentives that we gave for Walmart and Home Depot. Walmart and Home Depot, they produce about $1.5 million in sales tax before they did the expansion. And for all intents and purposes, when they wanted to expand Walmart, they got an economic incentive from Darien. Um, any town that Walmart goes into, we found out when they were doing this, they get economic incentives from those towns. So when we were looking at this number from before, um, other towns wanted to have, you know, Walmart come on over and they were willing to give economic incentives. Make a long story real short, whatever this number is, whatever it increases, as I like to say, it may be a big number, but it's one of the best numbers out there because we protected two major retailers, as I like to say, one and one A, that again, before we did the expansion, produces 1.5 million in sales. A lot of misinformation comes through every once in a while about the Walmart and the Home Depot. The biggest thing about Walmart, and I want everybody to remember this, is that Inland at that time owned the entire development. However, Walmart ends up owning the building. If Walmart would have pulled out of there in any way, shape, or form, that building would have, sem sit, would have sat empty and probably for five years. So again, I'm just saying this just to reiterate for some of the people at home so that they can understand why we did what we did. Because again, I still think it's one of the best mon numbers and monies that we ever spent, and I won't say another word about that. Going out in question. that three-year forecast, the, the um, what I'm calling the Home Depot rebate is sixty-eight thousand. That's a flat payment. So any increase you see over years two and three is from the Walmart agreement, and we don't have those actual numbers yet. We're estimating based on the numbers in our agreement. <coughs> we won't know those until uh, after. Um, sometime after May 1st, but shortly, should be shortly thereafter. But at this point, these are as our best estimate based on the agreement. Okay. So with that, let's move to page 25, okay? Um, before I go into the next page, anything under the salaries, benefits, operating that anybody has a question on? York. Uh, favorite topic of the day, uh, legal expenses. Uh, 4219. What's our year to date on that? 34,000 for 21. 34,000? Or that's the total? That's the total. 34,000. How much for legal versus Irma? Well, it's not separated. Um, legal, 8,242. Irma is 22,713. 8,242? Correct. Okay, so again, we're we're at eighteen thousand dollars legal, and I mean we were running pretty last year for the total for forty two nineteen we were at thirty three thousand. So that's a twelve thousand dollar jump. Um, the year before that we were at thirty three thousand. Year before that we were at twenty thousand. Year before that, 35. So we're still we're averaging 30 approximately over four years, and we're at 45. I jumped up last year from my mistake. We can reduce that. If again, I, I think what we'll do is we'll take a look at all the legal 
and come back with what we spent, maybe a little more analysis, and that'll be included there too. Okay. Anything else on this page? We go to page 26. I already addressed 20 4240 economic development. So we go down to contractual services 20 4325. Wait, hold on, where yet? 20 dash. Page 26. Oh. Page 26. 20 4325. I have a question. What? Which one? Go ahead, York. Uh, 4325. Um, it seems like we're significantly dropping, actually, right? From years prior? Or am I imagining that? 42. Well, last year, yeah, we had 42,000 actual. Well, tw 2014 actual was 42,000. Is there a year to date on this? 36,000. So 2014, we're at 42. 2013, we're at 47. 41 the year before, 33 the year before that. This is also in re with respect to building permits. As building permits come in, there'll be electrical inspections out of that. There'll be building and plumbing inspections out of that. So yeah. it's already built into the cost of the permit, to which case what you're really seeing is an increase in building permits, not a decrease. Right. So the increase, the difference is built into the building permits. Through the, well, uh, we don't know that. We assume... Well, we presume that we're going to have so many building permits, the years have been better than what was anticipated. So, yeah, if we, if we have additional building permits issued, we'll have additional inspection <coughs> that we pay. There's some trade-off there. It's not a dollar for dollar um, at some point, but... I mean, I'm correct. I yeah. think we're all happy when it's going down. Yeah, he's questioning why it's going right. down. Right. Not enough. Well, we try to be conservative, too, so... Um, First time um, tonight. <laughs> what was the year to date, I'm sorry, uh, on that one? 36. So 36. We're so we have to, to adjust that already because we only had estimated 34.9 even. So we have to, you know, this fiscal year. And I think part of that was from Darien Point. They just came in and paid their permits. Oh. That was a big. Uh, that was a big hunk. But this is the inspection services. Correct. Which is which is in there as well. All of that is within the. So cost. next year, if we're estimating not to have such a big building permit, we would see those expenses drop. If our building permit revenue is down, also we should see these expenses drop. Right. Now, next year, as an example, Manning Road, we didn't really factor that in. I guess what I'm asking though is why we did drop, because we're, we're 10,000 less than we were last year. On the actual. On the actual. Not on Not the budget. The budget from was, last year. was exactly the same. Right. Right. But we've actually increased on the rent wall year to date. Right. Last year was. Uh, 46, I believe it was mentioned before. You said 42? We're 42, 42, 425 is what was 2014 actual. Correct. And we're at 36 now. Right. So with that 36, we still have so we under potential for another 6,000. Uh, Manning Woods, for example. If Manning Woods was approved tomorrow and they were ready to start. Oh, so we under budgeted for last year, too. I wouldn't say we under budgeted. There were things that weren't anticipated. And Darien Point, for example, I think is a good example. Was the building going to start this fiscal year? Obviously, we didn't know that until December, or I should say October. Okay. Just so I'm clear, you're, so we're, we're, we're saying we're budgeting 37 this year. Well, we spent 42 the year before. And you're, are you wondering why that number's less? We're budgeting 32. Thir 32 and we budgeted at oh, plus and five. We have five in the and five. So, yeah, 37. And yeah, so my question is why are we dropping so much? I mean, if you look at the last. Last, last year, would three of the last four years everyone. were higher than what we're yeah. budgeting today. If if I budget, if we budgeted more in the building department revenue, our building permit revenue, we would budget more for this. There's a, there's a there's a correlation between those two numbers. So based on based on a lower building activity, that's probably the number. But again, or if Manning Woods comes in and these other subdivisions, so right. then that would go up along with the building permit revenue. The yes. revenue would and also go up. At the same time, I'm not anticipating a huge increase because we plan on introducing back to the city council the permit holiday sale. Now, there's certain, certain costs within that permit holiday sale that aren't going to be charged to residents because we're going to do it in-house, some of the inspections. 
okay. for example. But the 5,000, so you know, you're saying 37, but 5,000 of that is marketing services, yeah. so that's and not even and toward. And last right. year was 2,000. I'm curious right. why yeah. we've increased right. that $3,000. Yeah. Yes. What, what does that encompass? What do we Wait, let's finish the one oh, question okay. just so we're clear. I mean, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, okay. You under, you have it? Yeah, but okay. what I'm saying is, you know, if you take away that five from the 37, yeah. then you're really at 33, which is less than where we're at year to date, and that doesn't anticipate yep. the additional potential, you know, That's cost. right. So if, so if we're questioning, is that too low, I guess. Is and I'm yeah, saying. I mean, I've, everything I've said tonight, all my yeah. comments tonight were that we're budgeting well, too high. Yeah, maybe so maybe this will clarify it. Why last too year, low. Well, the reason it was so high last year, you had Walmart. You had a lot of activity with Walmart and construction, so you had a lot more of those expenses. Okay. This year with Darien Point, you've had more of those expenses. On a normal basis, you wouldn't have such big projects ongoing. So the right. 32 is probably closer to what a normal year would be. Okay. But what Brian and uh, Dan are saying is if we do have more activity, Manning Woods or any other activity, the expense may be higher, but the reimbursement would be higher. Gotcha. So it would be receiving right. more revenue. So they would pretty much offset anyway. Okay. Well said. Thank you. We're not, we're not anticipating Manning Woods coming in, so I didn't want to put the wrong yes. impression out there at this point either. So, so. then the question is, what's the 5000 right. for? And 5000 if I'm on that would be the marketing for, services, right? The marketing services, we, which let's say we want to do promote some additional economic development, whether it was through going through additional shows last year with or this year, uh, in this fiscal year, there was a show in Vegas. Uh, well, that show staff felt that it was, uh, um, it just wasn't worth going to it just based on the contents of what it was about. Uh, there's another show coming up uh, in Chicago. I believe it's next month. There's another international show. I'm not sure where that one is, if it's in Texas or whatever the case is. But that would buy materials such as folders, what's Darien all about. Um, it's basically a portfolio of the city of Darien, which we would distribute to potential developers, brokers, et cetera. Yeah, and I think we, we did that a couple years ago at a yes. local show. We probably spent a couple thousand dollars on mater on public relations materials that we went to. 2,501 in so, uh, the city of Chicago. So this year, we can't tell you that it's the two shows on these dates, but we definitely wanted to allocate money in the event that we do want to participate in a couple of the economic development um, forums. And that's to potentially even bring in tenants to, say, Darien Point, things like that. Correct. And mm -hmm. one example is the empty pad next to Walmart, um, that there's one more building pad there. Well, we've been trying to work with brokers, um, um, work with the man, the, con the owners of the complex as well. It's not moving. What's missing? You know, so uh, to see what other opportunities are there, this will, these funds will provide us that opportunities. Again, provided that the contents of where it's at and who's there and who the players are is something that the city of Darien wants to be involved with. And Dan, the example when you went, I believe it was last year, there was a number of contacts you made you followed up with. I don't know if any of those ever materialized, but there was national change you had met with and talked and invited out and some things like that. Sure, as a matter of fact, you know, Starbucks right now, we have some relationships going with Starbucks, uh, um, as well as uh, um, Corner Cafe, for example, Fireman Sub. Um, but we, the list goes on and on, but those are contacts that you just can't have one year those representatives tend to move on, um, so there's new context that you constantly have to stay on top of. Okay. Anybody have an issue with it? No. Okay. Um, anything left on community de community development they want to question? Yeah, I want to cover forty three twenty eight, the other part of contractual services. Okay. Um, just out of curiosity, what I mean, these are reimbursable professional expenses. What is two twenty eight? What percentage? Page twenty seven. I mean, do we have a high percentage of getting reimbursed, or is there a all of these items? For example, again, I'll refer to uh, engineering what services, Manny Woods. Uh, if those are about a hundred percent, though, Dan, because those oh, are. That's, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I'm asking. For each yeah. item, the bottom line is that they're a hundred percent reimbursable. Okay. And I was just going to run through some examples, if that's what you like. <coughs> No, I'm just wondering what percentage we were getting reimbursed. Yes, that's 100 percent. Okay, and and the, and well, <coughs> unlike the other contractual services, but I'm sorry. Let me back up. With the exception of lawn cutting, uh, we do put a lien on properties because uh, obviously some there's an absent owner or we yeah, have okay. trouble identifying who the owner is. And then we put a lien on the property through the DuPage County, uh, um, DuPage County, until the house is sold. Then we get our monies back at the end. 
So it might be some. A sheriff's years. sale, you're not going to get it back, though, right? Um, well, if there's a lien, the lien should get paid off first. Any outstanding liens should get paid first. Not and a you'd be a sale. lien holder. Not and a sheriff's, a sheriff's not sale? Sure. I'm not sure how that works then. <laughs> Belzac? No. You're not getting paid. You're not getting paid. Okay. We haven't had any sheriff's sale that I'm aware of. Everyone that's uh, the properties that we have liened, we've gotten paid on. Um, so just a familiarity with what a sheriff sales right. does or doesn't do. Okay. And, and one uh, point there also, there's in our revenue column, there's also a revenue line that pretty much matches this. Okay. But it's, uh, it's, it's off a bit because of the, I guess, the timing of when we might bill somebody in a fiscal year. But we'll verify that again. I think the revenue is about 45, so we should probably up that just a tad or decrease this, but we'll check that. All right. And then further in this uh, section, you know, whereas the first, the 4325, we all went down, the 4328, we're going up. We're doubling the engineering services. Yeah, that should, that should be a wash. So I think if... We oh, should probably, right. I mean, we should lower this or increase the revenue. Um, I think the reimbursables, Dan went up in <coughs> anticipation of maybe some projects coming in, but that could, well, one, as, right. long as, as long as they wash with the revenue, that's probably more important, yes. What I always try to watch for or forecast, for example, on this reimbursable, just because something, uh, again, Manning Woods, Manning Woods has already generated bills prior to it even going to a building permit. There's been a lot of reviews that have been completed, whether they've been traffic consulting engineers, civil engineers, building plan, concept reviews. So there are still some expenses that are being, um, are being generated before they even get to city council for final approval. So, you know, it's something we're looking at. Manning Woods is one I look at. Uh, uh, it's probably another couple uh, Route 83, uh, potential redevelopment. So there's a couple other things out there that are coming in and forth that are going to generate some costs. And those, those, I think, Alderman Cipher's initial question was what percentage? And it's still a high percent. There are some, some if, they're, if we're not sure that they're really going to stick around, we'll charge up front. So in case we have a, a bill from our engineer a month later and the developer walks, we still have some way to capture those fees. Okay, correct. All right, and then... Thank you, Dan. Um, and then one more question that were common. On 4263, the training education, I mean, I think we had this in the last section with the administrative. We're not really using the training and education at all. I did decrease that uh, 600. I felt that 600 was at least one class, possibly two classes. Okay, it, used, it used to be, I believe, a thousand, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I didn't well, put it last last year we spent three twenty eight and we budgeted five hundred. We've actually increased it a hundred. What's our year to date? Zero. It should be zero. Zero. So we have zero three twenty eight the year before, <laughs> zero the year before, ninety five the year before, and twenty one dollars the year before. And I will I won't argue that there's classes that come, whether it's from our risk management um, insurance carrier that community development, um, so whether they're legal, for real estate, whatever the case is, a lot of them we end up getting at no cost at all. Um, if there's a class out there, planning, whatever the case is, so we just felt that that was not a lot of funding to ask for. Correct. Historically, we have not used it. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to nickel and dime, but we, we're, we're budgeting 500, and now we're budgeting 600, I have no but we problem. never use it. I have no problem taking it down to 400 if the committee would work with that. I'm thinking 399. <laughs> <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're 98. Wait, here, 350. <laughs> All right. 400, fine. Anything else in this section? Anything? Okay. Let's move to police department. Dan, would you like to stick around? I have the opportunity to leave. Thank you. I appreciate that. I think they've decided to end at the police budget either by uh, time or ending at the budget, so um, you're done for the night. If you do start on the streets, I'd be more than happy to come back. So I, will cor I will more than happy to give you a call. Thank you. Thanks, Dan. Thank you. All right, City of Darien Police Department budget, page 28. FYE 15 budgeted. As we look at personnel, we budgeted $4,200,000. We budgeted $4,231,983. Our 
Our total um, salaries as well as overtime came in at $4,162,732, a savings of 69000 We were up in civilian salaries by 38, but we were down in salaries for officers at 107. The key is on overtime, we budgeted 461300 and that's what we're coming in at. As we go down to benefits, our benefits uh, budgeted was one million nine hundred twelve thousand two fifty three. We're going to come in at eighteen sixty seven thirteen. Uh, Fifty four thousand dollar reduction in medical life insurance was the big number right there. So go down to operating costs. Our budget was eight hundred four thousand five ninety three, and we came in at six eighty three eight hundred. Some of the highlights for it were liability insurance, we were down 43,000. Maintenance of uh, equipment, down 6.7. Um, maintenance of vehicle, 11.2. Training and education, we were down 4,000. Uh, uniforms, down 9,000. And vehicle and gas, probably because of the reduction in the cost of gas, we were down 20,000. Um, 804,593, and we're going to be coming in at 683,800. If you take a look, and we'll get into this in more in detail, if we look at FYE 16 requested, we're going to be at 620,721. The biggest drop in this, as you can see, is of rent under equipment. We're moving from 173,000 down to 9,800, so we will not have a lease payment for uh, FYE 16. If we go out to 17, we won't have it. But if we look at 18, we'll go back to having a lease for new cars by that time. So we go down to contractual. Uh, we budgeted 381,168, and that's what we're going to come in at. As we go down to capital, we budgeted 111,774, and we're coming in at 90,000. We're down about 21,000 on that. As we take a look over for FYE 16, as well as discretionary expenditures. Big thing in under discretionary expenditures, and again, we'll get this into this in a few minutes, is 157400 is going to be for equipment is what we're looking at. A um, couple highlights on this, and this is important. If we go about, back out to fiscal year ending 18 for the forecast, if you take a look at what we're coming in at for just for salaries for this year versus then, we're at $3.2 million for this year, and we're going to be going to about $3.577 million for FYE 18. Under medical life insurance, we're coming in at 474,502, but if you go out to 18, you're looking at 586,219. Under police pension, 1196,027. For FYE 18, you're looking at 1399,686. Again, rent equipment I just talked about, we're not going to have two lease payments, but again, we're going to have fixed costs for that in 18. And then finally, under consulting and professional services, 356 is what we're actually at, but by the time we go out to 18, we're going to be at 481,621. Not that much of a big increase under DUCOM, but in case there's any um, upgrades that are needed that are required, that's probably why we're budging it. So it's a big increase on those, that whole entire section. But if you take a look at the numbers, it's all pretty much based on what our salaries and what our officers are at and what our pension obligations are going to be. So I just wanted to bring that on up. I'm moving. Sorry, please go ahead. Mike, <coughs> where are we at as far as the funding and the pension? What's uh, the latest? We've been increasing every year. We're approximately 63, 64% now. We've been funding it at 100% uh, to get caught up within okay. the 27 years remaining. Uh, we're allowed to only fund it up to 90%, but the council's been good enough to uh, agree with me that we've been funding it the 100%. Uh, that is one of the issues I have here. The number for next year, the million two hundred thousand, that's the actual number we've already proposed in the levy. That's based on the actuarial report for next year. Once we get into seventeen and eighteen with the million three and the million four, those numbers are unknown at this point. Uh, but I feel they're probably pretty reasonable. Uh, investment performance is probably tailing off a little bit. Interest rates have been fairly soft, uh, so I would imagine we would have somewhat of an increase that year. Also, Ted, with respect to the current year, uh, police pension, a million one ninety six oh twenty seven. That's what we levied. However, we've already paid a million two oh five 
Oh, did we uh, really? Okay. And only because uh, DuPage County always assesses like an extra 1% or 2% for people that don't pay their taxes, and we're very fortunate in Darien, our people are paying their taxes, so we've actually collected more than we've levied. Uh, so right. again, that And goes, that gets factored in, though, That Mike, goes directly into yeah. the police pension fund, so it actually should have an impact in yep. reducing or controlling, e either increasing our funding or reducing our contribution for future years. Anything else on this page? Uh, and I, again, I just wanted to question, Ted, you indicated that consulting professional services, as we get to fiscal year 17 and 18, uh, currently we're projecting 356000 and we're projecting over a $100,000 increase next year. And I was just wondering if the chief or someone could explain why that big increase is that uh, you indicated that it wasn't due to DUCOM. But I it's the county records management, John. I think you want to take that. That's yeah. the unknown that we had talked about. Right. Um, we're on a records management system, which is electronic, so the officers create reports on the computers. It's, an, it's shared amongst police departments across the county. Um, that system has gotten to the end of its life. Right now, they're working on a replacement for it. We're banking that we'll have to start paying a larger share than what we're paying currently for the current system, and that should be... They're saying 2018, but they can't give us a, a hard date yet. So we're projecting that there is going to be an increase there. They haven't given you a hard date. Have they given you a hard number? I mean, No. Oh. No. Part, so, part of the problem with this, yeah, the, the RFP is coming back. <laughs> then there's a review period. But, again, because it's countywide, it will be based on how many members are participating. If some police departments, especially the bigger ones like Naperville, if they don't jump on board, that cost has to be shared amongst who's left. It's still a deal compared to trying to go out and buy our own system because you're going to pay a lot more for that just if we had it in Darien alone. The problem is for law enforcement purposes, you need to share data. That's how you solve crimes. Mm -hmm. Crimes don't no. occur in Darien. Those guys don't stay in Darien. They move other places. So. I That's agree, but, but the number for. is essentially a soft number. Right. Very soft number yeah. at this point. We'll know, <laughs> we'll know more, you know, in the next couple months, but I can't guarantee yeah. when they'll actually lock us in and say this is what it'll cost if we want to participate. John, you said it's, uh, it's running out of its useful life. It, it seems like just yesterday that we started this records, uh, this countywide records management program. Part of the problem is, Mayor, is, is that the system does not work. Uh, it can't give us a return on the data that we're looking for. It doesn't allow us to share data with other departments. So John and I are, are both pushing uh, for, actually, we, what we'd like to see is uh, the, that DuPage County would mandate participation uh, in the program so that everybody was on the same okay. system. And okay. is it possible that's something that could come out of the seizure funds also? No, that, uh, mm, no. No, because it's been budgeted. It, it couldn't. Why'd you put it in the budget? Yeah. No, it's, re <laughs> it's replacing something we had budgeted oh, is, previously. Is over and over, yes. Yeah, this is a maintenance issue. <laughs> oh, Mike, you're funny. Nice try, Michael. <laughs> nice try. All right, let's go to page 29. We're going to start at 40 4010. Um, under salaries, one new part time community service officer for 18200 <coughs> Please. What we're looking at is uh, a continuing effort to minimize the amount of time that our sergeants spend in uh, administrative capacities. Uh, one of the things that get poli gets police departments in trouble is not having uh, direct supervision over the officers on the street. And so adding a, a part-time CSO to the complement of CSOs that we currently have would Im improve our ability to keep our sergeants uh, uh, on the street. Gotcha. <laughs> Hey, uh, I had a question, Chief, because in last year's budget when we were doing this, we were budgeting for three CSOs at a cost of 59641 Yet if we take the number this year for our two part-time at 526 and the 182 for the additional, it comes out to almost $71,000, about $12,000 higher than the three th that we had budgeted for last year. We actually did have, have, have the three. We have uh, Mary Belmonte. Bill Whiteside and uh, Stan Nickel. Stan Nickel is uh, moved over to our property, uh, property control person, uh, and he m uh, does that um, more often than not. And so this would actually be a fourth CSO because Stan, uh, again, it keeps uh, the the property uh, control person 
keeps uh, detectives from having to do do that work and keeps them active in the street. So it keeps cops at eighty-five thousand dollars an hour from uh, a year from doing jobs, an, uh, an essentially administrative job. I appreciate the concept. That seems to be working. Then, should the description be changed? Then, is it four? Because you're saying four CSOs, but this is showing three CSOs, or one is an evidence tech. An evidence now. tech. Yeah. It, uh, oh, actually, a property we, control officer. Well, there's a separate line item for an evidence tech, though. Uh, actually, he's a property control, uh, not oh, evidence tech. Oh, property. property control. Oh, okay. We hired we hired him as a CSO, though. But again, it's a it's a civilian type position. It's not a sworn officer, so that's. The difference. I mean, we could change. We could we could change it and say he's not a community <laughs> service officer, but that was where we needed that person to be. So the seventy-one thousand then is covering four people, then not just three people. What what the budget request is for this year? Yes. Okay. Wait. In the maintenance. Wait. Then you have another in the discretionary because right now we have we're budgeting for two part part-time CSOs for fifty-two thousand, right. some change. Then, uh, which uh, evidence tech, which is a wrong title, property control for 18, and then the request for the fourth one is in the discretionary for 18. I think one of the CSOs uh, we talked about increasing the hours, maybe four hours a week also. Yes. And then I don't know if the evidence tech is also an increase in hours or if you're fine with those hours. No, so. Actually, an increase. Uh, and um, that's the property, property control officer. Uh, a property control officer. And what we want to do is make sure that uh, this this individual is able to move evidence back and forth and, and also maintain the evidence room with the with the reconstruction and uh, the new beast uh, property management to, uh, software that we have and so we, we're increasing his hours by about four hours a week so last last year the number was probably too light if that if that's what you're I think that's what you're asking well, I thought I had it resolved yeah I thought I was said this no, these two numbers the 52 plus the 18 cover four individuals no three. no no oh, I'm so sorry I misspoke it, it, that it still only covers three individuals and one was too light last year yes. because you've got them on additional time over and above what you anticipated exactly we actually he only worked 12 hours a, a week for the most the, the property control officer but we actually need more hours from him than that Last year when we presented it, we took a look at, at Sarah's total compensation, and we, uh, she was leaving. We tried to fill it with three part-timers. We lived within that budget amount, but I, what the chief is saying in reality, we're just short a few hours on them. So I think if you add the, out, the additional hours they're working plus the new uh, request for CSO, that, those numbers should work out. So can I make sure I understand this? So we have budgeted for two part-time CSOs. But last year was three part-time CSOs, at a, and now the property control. The the CSO that we, we asked for last year actually functioned as a property control officer. Okay, and so that's broken out now separately here as evidence tech. Yes, and the reason that the numbers don't add up is because you added more hours to what was budgeted last year. Well, no, actually, we, we stayed within the, 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 the time frame that, that, that uh, Sarah would have worked, and so we only worked the CSO, um, the, the property control officer, 12 hours a week. What was the budget? Of, I, I wrote down 59000 Is that what was budgeted last year? Last year we showed 59641 for three CSOs. For three. For three, correct. So that's, that's a cool. difference of, total difference of what, $12,000? Right. And yes, it's sir. made up by more hours? Yes, sir. Or just an underestimate? Just an underestimate of how much. Okay, so then we're adding a fourth one now for eight or discretionary for 18.2. Yes, sir. Okay. Anybody have an issue with it? Okay. Anything else in this section before I move on? Okay. 40 4020, uh, Lieutenant promotion for $12,000. In this particular case, what we're looking for is, is uh, several, several points. First off, uh, someone b between uh, the deputy chief's position and the sergeant's position to manage uh, certain operational functions, uh, not the least of what is internal, uh, internal investigations. Traditionally in a law enforcement agency, internal investigations must be conducted by someone at least one rank above 
uh, the rank being investigated. So if we have a, a sergeant being investigated right now, it would be left for either a sergeant to, to uh, conduct that investigation or John or myself. And since we both have oversight for the investigation, it wouldn't be appropriate for us to conduct it. That's one function. There are also uh, uh, line responsibilities that, that we, we need somebody to take care of, such as reviewing uh, schedules submitted by the sergeants. And we'd like to have for the lieutenant who would have line authority over the sergeants. Right now we've had a sergeant somewhat performing in that capability and the guys have been really good about submitting to his authority, but we actually need the line, of, uh, uh, the lieutenant would have the line authority to return schedules and, and, and uh, demand a relook at, at them. The, the third uh, and uh, more ancillary uh, function is, is that currently, again, there's no graduation of responsibilities and management philosophies between uh, the sergeant's position and the deputy chief's position. Having a lieutenant would uh, allow us to have a, a graduation of both uh, management philosophy and uh, uh, responsibilities. Makes sense. Chief, I'm sorry if you it, maybe I missed it. You mentioned you. Uh, this is not an increase; it's a promotion. So the number of sergeants currently at seven would be at six. It would be at six, yes, and sir. And one of the uh, this would be a promotional opportunity for one of the for sergeants. one of our sergeants, yes, sir. Sylvia, did you have a question? No, that's what that was going to be the clarification I made. Okay. Anybody have a question? So totally, we have uh, 32 salaried officers, and. How, how has that changed, let's say, since you came on board? Is, has that number uh, been increased by one, decreased by one? What, what, do you know what that number is? We have one more officer since... Uh, one more? One more, yes, ma'am. Chief, you've had one more since you've... S explain that again. I thought, I, I could recall we were at probably 36 when you came on. We were at 36 originally. It, it had ne the thir those positions were never filled. And so then we, um, in the first budget process, we settled at 34 being the correct number. For the authorized strength? or what? For the authorized strength. So I, did you answer Alderman Belkey with an increase of one? That's what I didn't understand. Well, it, it was, we, we had never filled. We were at 30, um, 30 31 uh, sworn, plus uh, Deputy Chief and myself. And then we actually fill the, the other positions. Because so. you're talking, there, there's a couple things when, in police departments. The head count that's authorized, then there's the, and actual, the actual officers working. Actual. Because if somebody retires or they leave, you, you have typically a four, six month process to get somebody else in. But if you're talking about authorized strength, I, I, I want to say it was at 36, whereas now we're at 34. The authorized is down by two, that's correct. Okay. Was that your question, Alderman Belke? Or Thank you. Did it, okay. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Chief, on that? I, I thought you said yesterday that uh, this was going to be a non union position, then the lieutenant? That is correct. So would that change the union salaries to 31 and administrative to 3? That would be correct, yes, sir. Okay. So that's not what it's showing up on? Correct. Yeah, that's a good point. I had put in here only the difference in salary. If that's approved, I would, I would make that change. 31 or 3. So it's, yeah, so it's more clear. York? In, in addition, there would be an ordinance, a position like this would take an ordinance by the city council uh, to effectuate the new position. I have a question about outside detail. Yes, sir. Uh, and we're budgeting 40,000 this year, 40,000 last year, 77,000 the year before, 50,000 the year before that. Is there any way to break out the totals for each year for the outside detail and what it's for? The outside details are all reimbursed. We have the, the bank details, the, the details at the school, they're all reimbursed. They're all reimbursed. But we pay up front. Or reimbursed 100% or? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Well, that's, those are the church details, too. The church detail, the, the yeah. bank detail, the. Bank detail yeah, I know it, no, it ends this. It ends uh, which one is that? The uh, state, state, state bank. Country. Country. Is that state an, is, are these actual numbers or are they just. This, this is another one that we wash with the revenue. Right. So if this goes up by 20000 in the expense, our revenue would correspondingly go up by the same amount. Right. The, the only thing I'm not sure without checking more detail is how our school resource officer fits in this number. And I don't... Re is he reimbursed? Yes. Yeah, yeah, for, for the, for the uh, outside details, he's reimbursed. Right. But is this, I mean, is the 40000 accurate? It, it goes up and down. It depends. Uh, sometimes we don't get enough uh, personnel to fill in outside details, so... Uh, they're they're not paid. Uh, it's not paid. So right. it, can, it could go up. Yes, sir. It's a watch either way, though. Okay. Any questions on that? Anything else? So m before we move on, lieutenant promotion, we're keeping that can in. I clarify that though, one sure. because I mentioned that should be a wash with the revenue. If it doesn't wash, one of the reasons is because the the um, high school officer salary 
is actually in the police salaries already. He's in the police salary. So right. if you took, if you look at the revenue reimbursables, it really adds up our high school officer plus the 40. Got so it. those numbers, they equate, but it takes a little, the math's a little bit uh, tricky. Thank you. And Lieutenant Promotion, we're keeping it in. No questions? Okay. Page 30. 40 4203 Auxiliary Police, $6,000. Ballistic Vets, Ballistic Vets, $2,000. And New Auxiliary Officers Uniforms for 4000 Can we back up a second? Go ahead. Uh, animal Control. Yes, sir. Um, we're averaging 572.25. Yes, sir. We're budgeting 2000 we usually pad this one a little higher because we never know how many animals we're going to recover. Right. One of the changes we made last year is uh, we stopped um, uh, paying for animals that were recovered by the owner up till I think it was May of last year, we were paying for animals that were recovered by the owner. Right. But I mean, again, I mean, the average was pretty low, 572.25 over four years. Exactly. The, the, the uh, vet service is increasing their fees, and DuPage County is increasing their fees. 50 to 100 per expense. Wow. Last, what's our year to date? 590. 590. Last year we were at 765. I, I actually would cut it and then I got a letter from Animal Control. So Stand if we were... pick up a dog and nobody claims it, we store it here in town at the vet on cast. If nobody claims it within 24 to 48 hours, we call Animal Control. They send the van out. We get charged for that. We can also get charged. For the euthanization if they have to euthanize it because they they don't have an owner so they did increase these fees <coughs> i believe it started the first of the year and it's 50 to 100 percent not that they're huge first fees. of this year yeah yes for the county john or yeah, for, the for the county, county animal control for the county okay yeah. so when they take it that's fine okay. and on auxiliary police yes sir um, and I know I asked this question yesterday cause, or last year because I looked at my notes. Uh, base, what's base? Just uh, what it, uh, they operate on a quartermaster system. Just what it costs to, to uniform four officers. Okay. All right. Worn out boots, flashlight batteries. If their flashlight battery wears out. All right, and then and that's probably it's high because we have we're adding. We're uh, adding. We're actually adding four. Uh, because we're we're losing one one uh, one of our auxiliary officers is the next recruit candidate for our police list. So we need four. We need on four. The base. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Any issues with the vests or the auxiliary officers' uniforms? No, the vest just seems like it's a lot of vests over the years. They they have They're to custom be made in every five years. Right. The, the warranty runs out so they won't insure you if you're struck by a bullet. So all the ballistic vests are replaced on a five-year rotation, and it's based on when the vest is manufactured. And how, how much are the vests? Um, 425. For well, it, well, they can run anywhere from 400 to 600 dollars. Some of the ones the officers get are even more than that. We're on a federal program. We get 50 percent reimbursement, but it takes 12 months to recoup those. 50% refunds. Okay. Okay, moving down to 40 4213 subscriptions, um, $600. We well, have to make an amendment to, uh, to this, uh, Mr. Chairman, because uh, we did not factor in the uh, annual fee for IACP net. And it's 875 this year, but we also wanted to include, it, include as part of our accountability model the uh, six sergeants that would also be, be have access to this. The, the, it would be a separate license for the six sergeants. So it's I think it's fourteen seventy five. Which which item is going to go up? Uh, forty two thirteen forty forty two thirteen IACP net. Under subscriptions. Yeah, you, you don't have that broken out. You've got, you got dues Chief. and subscriptions. That's all you have. We will. We, do, we just got that. Uh, just came. The, the annual renewal fee just came so, in the mail today, and we oh, and overlooked it. What's the total going to be on that? Then? Uh, actually, Fourteen seventy-five. Actually, last last year we budgeted thirty-six fifty. This year we're budgeting sixty-five hundred already before these increases, and we're projecting current year to come in at two thousand dollars. Right. And last year we were at sixteen fifty-three. Um, we added guardian tracking into this this year. Um, guardian so, tracking is a way we track 
It's our employee tracking mechanism, and it tracks all, all of the officer behavior, sends out a, uh, alerts, main, maintains, uh, uh, it, it, it also will feed in uh, to our performance and our disciplinary uh, practices as well. We're starting that in this coming fiscal year. No, we've we already we've already acquired that. We already acquired it. This subscription renewal w is included in this uh, the FY16. Which is sixteen hundred dollars. Right, can we just but get a break? If on? we already had it last year, wouldn't we have already paid for it last year? And and this year we're only projecting two thousand total in that account. I think it was seized funds. I last think we time. used seized funds last yeah. time. Yes because it, we never had it, so it would have been a new thing. Okay, so under dues and subscriptions, you're going to add another line item? Is that what you're saying? Uh, actually, it's not another one. We, 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 we uh, under, re, under requested the, the amount. Okay, uh, so which number, the discretionary number is going up or the uh, maintenance number going up? The uh, discretionary number will be going up. And, and, John, you know, I think you have, or, Chief, you have a detail on that. We could send that out. Yes. So that it, it's like you do on the training where there's better detail on that. Yes. So what's the total then on, on this? 1425. On the ICP net, it's fourteen seventy-five. That's added to the f added. Well, well, no, it's no, it's eight seventy-five added to the six hundred. So, right. but the total would be fourteen seventy-five. So eight seventy-five gets yes, total to the dis added to the discretionary of six hundred. Yes, sir. So and you're actually also and now in the maintenance request, there's included something that wasn't there before, like prior years. Yes, sir. And that's guardian, you call it? Guardian tracking. And what's the cost of that? Uh, six, uh, six, well, it's 1593. But that's already in here? Yes. That's included in the 5900. It's included, yes. 5900, yeah. But the budget is going up 2100. We're requesting a budget increase of 2100. Yes. So what was the year to what's date on that? 1800. 1800. So we're still seeing like we're high. Because if we, if we take the, the dues and subscriptions, there's memberships to different organizations. The, the timing of those come in at different times. You know, International Chiefs of Police is one that uh, the chief and I belong to along with some of the sergeants right now. Um, so it just depends on the billing cycle for these they things. Have, they have the but you uh, still, backup. even with this added one, though, you still seem a lot higher than... It, the, you guys have the backup. Uh, There's no backup on backup that sheet. Mm -hmm. We can uh, like to send this out because this is, this shows all the, the the various organizations that we have uh, that we pay dues to. Okay. Chief, just send out last year along with that. Right. Okay. Um, so then it's a better comparison. Do those dates those, <clears throat> but those dates don't change. They're pretty they're pretty consistent, correct? All right. Anything else in that section? Um, not in that section. Give me one. Okay. okay. Uh, Chief, we go down to 40 4217. Yes, and I'm sir. just questioning one thing. Range is 27,650. Yes, is sir. that bullets or? It's a combination of ammunition and supplies for the range. Okay. So uh, it's got nothing to do with range fees, which is under 40 4243. Exactly. Okay. It's about $11,000 in supplies, and, and uh, that's perish a lot of it is perishable stuff. Okay. And then uh, 15,000 15, in ammunition. Okay. How did, it, how did that compare to last year? Wait, uh, what, the range? Yeah. Uh, last year we budgeted 25150 so this year is projecting $2,500 increase in that. What's, now, the, what's our year-to-date? Oh, year-to-date. Uh, where are we? Investigations and equipment year-to-date. We're at 10247 versus a budget of 34890 unless you have a yeah, more of an... 14,000 versus 34, so we're about 20 under. Yeah, is that, is that part of, from that new um, system we bought, the, the, um, the, the simulator? computerized well, simulator? Uh, what happens is there's going to be some more because we have, we are waiting on receipt of ammunition. And so ammunition has a, a cycling of, of somewhere between 7 and 12 months. And so we're waiting on some ammunition now. And so we try to get as much of it expended, but we, we can't always assure us part of our ammunition order that they've already told us uh, is going to be eight, nine months down the road. So we'll be into next budget cycle before we, we're able to take delivery on it. And so I, I, I talked to Mr. Vanna, and we, we, we don't pay 
uh, as, a, as a matter of city policy, we don't pay for any items that we have not received up front. And so because of that, we, we kind of have to keep, the, keep that inflated. This is actually down. Uh, last year's budget was down. The cost of ammunition fluctuates some depending on, on what the military's needs are. And so we, we may be paying, I, I think it's a $2,500 difference in what we paid last year. But that's, that's why that, that 2500 is built in. So anticipated uh, receipt of ammunition and a slight increase in costs. Now, where do we realize the savings from the simulator? Because we do two less sh live, live fire shootings each year. So there would be more, if you didn't have the simulator, you would have more in the ammo right. it, line item. What we, what I we, don't know to what amount. But. Well, here, I, I can tell you pretty much 34 officers at shooting uh, 200 rounds each shoot. Uh, somewhere between 100 to 200 rounds each shoot. We eliminated two live fire shoots. So if we were shooting 100 rounds, that would be 500 rounds per shoot. And we're, we're at 300 rounds at 100 rounds. Or if we're uh, uh, 200 rounds, it'll be 1,000 rounds per year per officer. That's 34,000. Uh, it, well, it, it runs about $1,000 a case. And so 1,000 uh, rounds in a case, uh, depending on the, the ammunition. So it would be about $35,000, $34,000. So, but we're, I guess, where are we seeing that, that savings in the budget? Well, actually, the in, the, in the purchase in the of ammunition. Yeah, actually, that's sort of going to tie into my next question. Okay. They're projecting the year to date to end up at 25,000 versus 35 budgeted. So again, I question why are we budgeting 39 when we're projecting 25? versus a 35 that we had in this year and we're also increasing investigative services 1500 to 3500 from 2000 last year well we're increasing we're, we're increasing the total range budget but we're actually uh only uh, asking for 2000 more on the ammunition uh, on the ammunition side well but if you look at the account in total we're asking for thirty nine thousand dollars this year last year we were at 35 so we're within four thousand dollars there but the year to date you're projecting we're going to end up at twenty five thousand and yet we're asking for almost 40000 so That's 50. because of the rotation in the ammunition, and plus we've added uh, leads online. Uh, and, and if you look at the next, next page, leads online, and then there's some other investigative services that we're also using. But, Chief, there's about uh, $10,000 in ammunition that if everything worked perfectly, it would come in this year. But I think what you're saying is that ammunition you've gotten word we're not going to get that. It may not come in. It we're going to get some in. of it. We have if it comes in, we'll be at another eight, nine thousand. Exactly. That, but we're saying it probably won't come in this year. If it came in this year, the ten, okay. then we should we would probably lower next year right. depending on the timing, if that makes sense. I actually remember the discussion from last year and that's what ended up being we we had the purchase order for right. the ammunition and we saw exact dollar amounts that it didn't come in. Because I had posed the same question that the ammo budget was way too high compared to what we were spending or what we had spent. Mm -hmm. And then from the police committee, we had the breakdown of, I mean, I don't know if that's the case. I'm assuming that's the case that this is time. And we had the actual dollar amount, and there was a difference in matching up <coughs> dollar for dollar. So okay. I think I'm okay with that. Um, uh, but I, I guess I don't see, I know there's a fluctuation in, in the ammo, but, you know, I guess I, I'm still confused whether or not the simulator is really saving us the money that we spend. Right, that's simulator. what I'm asking. Yep. Where do we where do we, where do we see those savings? Like okay. I, I know you you accounted for them, but I don't see them in the budget. The the in, in ter well we're, we're down. The, I think the year before we were requesting thirty five thousand, uh, FY two twenty thirteen. Uh, for the ammo. Yeah, I think it was. I know I don't have the ammo broken out, but twenty fourteen we spent forty seven thousand on investigation and equipment. Now, Chief, if, if you were just talking about the number of bullets per shoot, right. if that was equated to the dollar amount, just for an example, let's say that was $5,000 and we didn't have the simulator, that budget would be $5,000 more exactly. than we're showing it. Exactly. So if we put the math, I think, to the Chief's number of bullets, so that, that would be the number. So if we didn't have the simulator, the, the ammunition budget would be more. I understand. Let me, let, me, let me give an explanation for what we do now. What we started in the last two years was having the range master do an inventory following each shoot. So we can, we're, we're able to determine how many rounds we're shooting on each shoot. If, if Right now, it's somewhere between 100 and 200 rounds, depending on any remedial assistance that the officer needs, uh, any malfunctions or anything like that. So in, in that regard, <coughs> we're doing two less shoots per year for, for all 34 members of the department. So that's where the saving, that, that, that's where the... 
right. the, the, the saving in rounds lives. What we still have to do is we still have to project a certain amount of usage uh, of ammunition and be able to acquire it in, in, in within the uh, uh, the time frame. And usually, the as as I said, the the ammunition orders are about nine to twelve months away from uh, the receipt of it is actually about nine or twelve months away from the order date. Right. So I think you use the number of um, a thousand per officer because so thirty four thousand rounds. Correct. Is Correct. what we're saving roughly? Is that what? No, no. I mean, that, that's what thousand dollars in, in. Well, in that's what we would be shooting if we had all five shoots and every officer shot two hundred rounds for each shoot of the five shoots during the year. Okay. So we're we're down uh, about slightly over a third on that because we're shooting uh, right now. We're shooting about twelve thousand rounds a year. Right. So my question is, I understand what you're, you're saying yeah. that we we're saving it on not buying the ammo. Right. Right. But my question is that. Compared to last year, because we bought this this simulator, are we expected what? No, I was going to say, I, I think Michael was going to, I'm sorry, didn't mean to cut you off. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to reconcile that. Where, where did we see that savings? Uh, I'm not quite sure. What I'm looking at is the budget for April of 14. Right. We projected range uh, ammunition of $30,000. Okay. Last year we decreased that to twenty five thousand dollars, and this year it's going up to the twenty seven thousand dollars. So if thirty thousand was the base, theoretically we saved five, 5 but we bought the equipment for what about eighteen thousand dollars. If and what we were what, what I projected at the time was somewhere a saving of, of around six thousand dollars per year, and that would it would pay for itself in, in somewhere between two and a half three years. And the year before okay. that, we budgeted thirty six thousand dollars. Okay. okay. So so and then there might be some price fluctuation in ammo. This is there's always a price yeah. fluctuation okay. in ammo. All right, I just uh, you know what I'm saying. I just wanted to right. yeah, I'm, yeah. Get, I'm trying to reconcile that. To conceptualize right. We're very likely to come in even under this figure in terms of actual range ammo spent, but we have to be able to account f for the the delay in actual delivery in order to to make sure that we have sufficient right. ammo. I, I just want to understand it, so I'm I'm fine. Thank you. Any other questions out of this section? Okay. On page 31, there's no uh, discretionary items or expansion items. Does anybody have any questions on 40-4219, 23, 25, 29? just want to point out again to uh, the legal on 4219 for $25,000. With that uh, year to date, we're already over, over. 20000 um, so we're pretty close to. Well, that one's pretty accurate. Yeah. Um, maintenance equipment. Do we have a year to date? Six thousand seven seventy. Six thousand seven seventy. And we're budgeting fourteen thousand <coughs> four hundred and sixty dollars. Yes, sir. Uh, we we have uh, the in car. One of the the big ones is the in car camera maintenance. We we never know how that's gonna the pale out. Yeah, we're we've been budgeting for that every year though. Mm -hmm. um, copier service. Didn't you all? Didn't police department also get a new copier? We got two new copiers. And we're and, and we are doing the same thing on recommendation from Scott Corn. We don't have a service contract, so if there's a problem with it, they come out and charge us for the service. And you're. Expecting two thousand dollars worth of service. How old are the copiers now? They're 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 on their first, first year. year. First. Is that warrantied or no? They they have a warranty, but it, if if we have to call service now, you have to pay. It's not a one year no questions asked type deal. I think it was like ninety days where they come out for no cost, but now we're paying per trip. And so far, it hasn't been bad, but I, I like to project that if they do come out, we'll have the money there. Okay. So, um, so year to date, sixty seven seventy eight. Last year, we spent eighty five twenty seven. Um, what's the office <coughs> equipment? That's just replacement of things that break, chairs, calculators. Although, aren't we getting new chairs? Or was that part of the discretionary? Yes. That's not in here, though. That's not in this one. No, that's in 
Right. We're but getting what I'm some. Not, is, it's not I a full replacement of all the chairs. How many, John, is it? I think it's like six. six. About six, yeah. Um, yeah, I just think it's my hot. Chair yeah, my chair's breaking right now. I mean, these things got to be replaced. Lay <laughs> off the Twinkies. <laughs> there was a tramp. <laughs> the train, let's just rotate. Like we do cars. Oh, uh, we get it. Our chairs. We'll get new chairs. <laughs> and on the maintenance vehicle, what's our year to date? 38,950. Wow. Mm. That's a huge difference. How many have That's kind of so quite a bit difference there. That's they, they were projecting 55 on the projection. Now that's through what? January, uh, January 1st, uh, 31st? February. Uh, February. Up to so February. Up to, that's up to date. So we're up to date. It. We have two. We have one more. Two well, more, a, actually, more actually, Paul, because we'll have three more months of bills because we'll have bills in May that we have to accrue to April. Um, so when we're looking at these, if it's if it's a February date and the February, we may still have. Well, you know, because we have at the end of the year a couple different warrants, so it's usually a, maybe a little more. Paul, is that accurate? Yeah. It possible. depends on the. So if a, if a if a car breaks down in April. We won't see that bill until May, so it's right. a little more than just the two months. So they are okay. projecting 55 yes. in the budget, but for next year they're back up to the 66. So I just think it's high. I mean, we were 66 last year. Mm -hmm. And how many and of the vehicles are new? Well, they're, they're not really new. They have anymore. 60 to 70 thousand miles on them. They're they 2012. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they run 24/7. You know, in general, in these maintenance items. We, we can cut those, but it is just a bit more conservative to estimate a little bit high and hope it doesn't. That if, if we don't get those repairs, again, just so everybody's clear, that money ultimately will come back into the fund balance and the city council can transfer it. That is obviously a hard one to call, and if we look back historically, we might be under those numbers, but again, as part of conservative budgeting, budgeting on those maintenance things, we do look a bit on the high side in case it happens. And, Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, but at least the money is there then at the end of the year. All the, all the, uh, we keep calling them new squad cars. They're all out of warranty now for repairs at the dealership unless it's a drive line, like an engine or a transmission. So we have to pay for all those repairs. When, when they're newer and lower mileage, we can send them to the dealer, and the dealer picks up almost 100%. Is that this phone. year, John? This next year, they're out of the warranty? No, they're out of the warranty right actually now, now based on mileage, except the power what, Was it the whole fiscal year they were out of warranty? It depends, you think? On, it, it depends on the mileage on the car. Okay. Um, I had a question. Mm -hmm. We talked about... How much of the repair of the or maintenance of the police vehicles is actually done by our public works mechanic, or is none of it done by him? No, no. the ma The majority of the basic maintenance, uh, brake jobs, oil changes, transmission services are done in house. Um, but there are things that are complicated that he doesn't have the right equipment that do have to go to the dealership. So, so this forty thousand dollars for repairs is above and beyond the what. Tommy does no no this no. is this is where he takes when he does a repair the money comes out of that line okay the 40,000 for the, the police vehicle fleet okay so so part of his the not the equipment but the supplies he needs yeah like parts and parts things is, that's that just parts it's not his salary though or a portion no, of his salary yeah. just parts okay and we have the ability Paul correct now I don't know if, we, if it's on the um you know the project code but we can look in our system and see which are are well, farmed out right. versus the things that our mechanic that tommy would need to buy for the vehicles themselves okay. we can now break that out fairly easy okay. we would know out of the forty thousand dollars what was done in house or what yeah paul can look right paul you can look and see if it went to four if we paid no. ford <laughs> like, he just no. said no, <laughs> no. But on, our, on our if we look at the invoices we could well we'd have to go It'd be more of a manual process. We could break it down by car um, and by, like for example, uh, oh, by tires, sixty-seven hundred dollars this year. Car washes, thirty-nine hundred dollars. Um, the two thousand six Ford Explorer, four hundred and twenty dollars. Uh, one of the Chevy Tahoes, two thousand six. We spent twenty-eight hundred dollars. So we could break it down by vehicle. 
We could take it down even further to see if it went to a dealership. You could do but that. But that'd be a more, more manual process. Okay, it's but you would know if it, so if it went to Willowbrook Ford as an example, even sure. Chevy, it would show on our expenses Willowbrook Ford. Right. Well, let's, let's now did you say 3,900 car wash? Yes. Year to date? Yes. And we're asking for 10? Yeah. Well, seems like a lot, it's a big difference. You've included a little detail into that too, right? Yeah, that's 100 bucks a car. But year to date, we're thirty nine hundred. I mean, is there a policy in place as to when they get the car wash or how often? Or it, 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 a lot of it varies. Uh, Alderman, it, how bad the weather is. If it gets dirty, uh, the quicker it gets dirty. Uh, some some guys get their cars washed more frequently. You probably would wash more in the spring coming up than what you did would we spend last year on no, car washes. I think Frank said. Frank Trilla said this is the season when they do the most car, right. car washes. Except what? when it's extremely cold. Yeah, just I because meant more than cold. Up up. Go to the right. What do we spend last year on car washes? We, we don't have that breakdown. <laughs> what, what did you ask? I know we budgeted last at 10. Yeah, we budgeted at 10. Last year. But I don't know what they did. What what budgeted spent, at 10 for what? Car wash. Car wash. Oh, for the car wash again. Because okay. right, we're at 3,900 a year to date. So I was wondering, since we also budgeted at 10,000 last year, what we spent last year. It is unusual where the monthly bill is much more than four or five hundred dollars. Lately, they've been three periodically, like they said, they do detail them, but that's a hundred dollars a car. I, I can't remember a time where it was ever a thousand dollars. Okay, so can we not cut the car wash bill or the budget? I, all we need to do is vote on that. Unless the Talk alderman can take their car out in half, <laughs> like five thousand. Paul, are you able just to saying, tell? Just saying. I, I, know our, I know our software improvement was for this. Uh, fiscal year when we can do the project codes but if you ran an account detail on the on right the, now okay on the car wash so I can think we bring it down to 7500 car washes all right what what was our year today on tires uh, 62 100 yes but we don't know last year's now that that's one uh, we, we'd really prefer not to to, to, to take down the, on the on the tires because uh, we run 24 hours a day and uh, oftentimes at high speeds and, and going from assignment to assignment and we, we beat up some tires. The other thing is is we, we have uh, the uh, driver school, the SUV driver school uh, through uh, Irma schedule and some of the, the, uh, uh, the practice runs on that uh, beat up some tires. Uh, so the last two, the, we didn't do it last year year before last when we did it I think we had four vehicles that we had to change out tires after the school so do we have do we get warranties on the tires we purchased for these cars they don't warranty them the tires we purchased would cost you as a consumer four to five hundred dollars a piece the state contractor the contracted price they sell to law enforcement only for about a hundred twenty bucks a piece good because they, they are per, a pursuit rated pursuit tire rated performance tires. based <laughs> But if you want to try to buy those tires, it costs you four to five hundred bucks a piece. That's so we, we do get a good deal on them. The the car washes last year um, with King Car Wash were, was forty three seventy one. So we'll cut that. So we could take it down to five six thousand six thousand easy. Six thousand. Six thousand. Sold. Sold. I think we got them. <laughs> Guys, quick question. Back to office equipment. You were saying thirty-five hundred dollars includes, you know, breaking calculators, chairs. What's the difference between chairs here? And I'm jumping ahead, but like the six replacement office chairs you guys are looking at. Those are chairs that absolutely need to be replaced, and we've had we have some chairs that can be repaired or or okay. uh, worked on. But the, the 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 chairs that we're looking to replace are just completely shot. Okay. Most of the furniture in that building has been there since uh, nineteen ninety-five, and so. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. you, you got guys getting in and out of the chairs with guns and gun belts and, and what it, it's just okay I'm just uh, so that 30 but back to the 3500 that's a good number yes sir okay all right let's go to page 32 <laughs> that's right all right uh, 40 dash 4263 training and education 37,653 with a uh, discretionary of 1200 what's the 1200 for And the next oh. question will be, what are we year to date on our, our training? Well, well, well let's, let's, okay. let's have a dis we discussed this last year. Right. I don't know if you guys recall, In but detail. let me give you some background on this year's first, what I'm saying. Last year, we budgeted 32,400. Uh, 
Um, correct. Yeah. Yes, we did. Okay, we budgeted 32.4, but if you recall, the chief came in with a higher number uh, detailing all the training that he wanted to do. To my recollection, it was maybe 36, 37 thousand right. dollars. And but historically, we come in under that number. Actually, this year, even though we budgeted the 32.4, we're projecting, or you're projecting, coming in at about 28 thousand dollars. So about 4 thousand under that. And, and here's why. What we do is we schedule classes, right. and frequently the classes get 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 canceled, or, or because of, we had uh, six people, five or six people on FMLA, somebody couldn't go to a class and, right. and things like yeah. that. So we schedule for classes. This year we're, we're looking to to have four separate training, uh, department-wide training days, that can uh, for use of force, uh, department-wide use of force in light of the the Ferguson tragedy and things like that. We want to make sure that we're, we're, we're uh, covered from a uh, information and liability standpoint, problem solving, community policing, things like that. And so we're, we're looking, certainly we, we're not certain 100% uh, that we can get all of the training in, but we'd like to schedule for it as well. Uh, we'd also like to send out the backup uh, uh, to the training because what we did this year is we broke it down by uh, law it's live. There, it's, it's training. It's, oh, it's, it's in there. Yeah. Okay. It's in there. But, but if you remember the discussion we had last year, it was pretty much the same discussion where you've got 100% of your training in here and due to whether family medical leave or somebody gets sick or is aunt dies or whatever it is, they can't all make it. So exactly. last year, I think we arbitrarily, I think your, uh, we arbitrarily, I said it's similar to a reserve for bad debts, something. So we arbitrarily cut it about $4,000 or something, if I recall, <coughs> because we right. know we're not going to spend 100% of it. And this re represents 100% of what you're asking for. Yes, sir. So what was our year to date? Uh, 28. 20, I'm sorry, what? 21.8. And they're projecting 28 in their budget. Right. Right. So, I mean, I'm going to, you know, we had this discussion last year. I'm going to agree with you again that I think we should cut this. Well, whatever the number should be yeah. at. But, I, I mean, mean, it doesn't seem to make sense to budget it. If we didn't hit the number last year, why not keep it the same? Well, that's what I said last year. Yeah. So, you know, I would suggest going back to 32.4, which yeah. was budgeted last year. And we said if it happens to go over, well, all well and good. They're getting the training we wanted them to anyway. It's explainable. Yeah, it's not like anybody's against training. It's just if it's not being, like, We've talked training a few times tonight. If it's not being used, then why are we budgeting for it? So, and I think it's a great schedule if everybody can do the training, but I would suggest bring it back to 32-4. So then we look like we're over budget if we do get all everything in, and that's not always a good thing either. Well, for me to weigh in, I, I, I've, obviously I'd prefer to see it at what we, we, we've requested. My point was, so. yes, I would, I would prefer that you get all the training in that you, you, you're anticipating. Additional twelve hundred. Yeah, what was the additional twelve hundred for? So travel and lodging, uh, potential for travel and lodging. Uh, IACP this year is is local, so we may not we may not need it, uh, <coughs> depending on how it's configured and and who who attends other than myself. Is it in Chicago? Yes, sir. Okay. So basically, we don't need the twelve hundred, but we definitely would need the thousand for IACP. Yes, sir. Okay. So can we eliminate the twelve hundred? We can. Can we reduce the training? If we're at 37 for training to down to 32, yeah, okay. I have no problems with it, and if the chief goes over, I will have no problems with that either. Is that what we're basically saying? Is, are, are we gonna, is that is that what we're basically saying? Well, we we might not even hit yeah. the mark from the year before, and we had this discussion. So, I mean, we had the discussion last year so that we, we had the discussion almost for like a half an hour going right. back and forth. Well, on this whole he thing. actually came back at a, a another meeting, and he actually gave us a breakdown. Right, because we asked for that. We that's got, we got that breakdown though. He right, asked that and that's why we had that. But he he had to come back last year and present that to us. Right. But, but we cut the number from that actual. Correct, number I understand year. that. But we might not even hit the number for the year before, which was twenty eight. Yeah, we're almost going to be twenty percent short of that, aren't we? So we're twenty percent short of two years ago. Well, one of Six, one of the things oh, to keep I'm in sorry. mind is 15%. we have a, a sergeant in uh, staff and command school now. We have not paid for that yet, and I think that's. Three thousand uh, dollars, so we we will come closer, and we have some uh, training that uh, will occur in April. We have the uh, two officers going to the uh, Illinois Drug Enforcement Officers Association uh, conference, so there there is some tr training that has not been vetted yet. So, so we, we should get fairly close, if not over the twenty eight thousand. So, right, okay, but your budget you're not, for you're not anticipating going over the twenty eight that you're projecting. 
because you're projecting 28. We budgeted 32. You projected 28, but now you're telling me you may have things in April. But the things you have in April, have you already factored those into your 28? Uh, yes, okay. uh, but the, the the key is is that there is training that we're anticipating that would take that could take us to the 28. So I wouldn't want to go below 28 uh, at at all. And then the the the, the, the tough thing is, is is that if we schedule 37,000 worth of training and then uh, our budget's reduced, then, then we're going to have to cut back on it then. No, I, I think no. we're all saying that we wouldn't expect wouldn't you to cut back on it. If you can do 100% of it, you can do 100%. And you're going to say I'm a bad manager, though, because I'm, I'm over the budget. <laughs> wait, you know, wait, so. wait. That's, yeah, that's, so that's exactly my point, yeah. The scheduling wouldn't take place until after the budget's approved, right? So if you're, if you're budgeted for whatever, 34000 then you would schedule for thirty four, correct? No. No, well, he, they're, no, they're telling him to go over budget if he, get, if he can get all the classes in. We're saying, because he's saying that every year you have somebody that can't make one okay, thing or so, another. So, so every year we're historically under budget on this. And last year when we had this discussion, I said, well, we could set up the 37 or 36, whatever the number is, and then set up a reserve against it. Uh, but rather than do that, we just brought the number down to 32 last year. So we brought it down to 32, and they're still only projecting right. 28, even though last year started at 36. Right. One of the reasons I'm concerned about this is for the first two years of my tenure, uh, during most of the year, the first year in 2012, the first fill year, we had eight people out for various reasons and so training we didn't expend a whole bunch of our training budget last year we had six people out uh, so um, it, it, it can get dicey so that, that, that's why I'm a, a little reticent to, to, to just so you're saying that, Chief, that you don't expect to have be down six people this no ma'am I don't okay so those six people the six eight people that you were down are now going to you're going to need to tra be use available for training. training. Okay. Uh, but does the 32 floor make sen more sense that we did the prior year? So well, it's, that, it's taking it up from 28, but it, yet it's less uh, than the 37.5. If 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 we if we're, if it's going to be cut, I would rather see it at 32 four than the 28. Quite frankly, yeah, we're, 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 yeah. no. yeah. we're not cutting at 28. But. That sound good. Thirty-two four. Thirty-two four. And move on. Okay. And no twelve hundred. And no twelve hundred. And no twelve hundred. And IACP a thousand is in. Okay. Yes. Anything on page thirty-two? Else, anybody wants to discuss? Uh, yes. I can remember what. Don't Take you your just time. To be clear, you have two seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just to be clear, none of these, n none of this extra training or anything could be out of the seized funds, correct? N no, ma'am. Okay. No. York will come back. Um, page thirty-three. Under anything under forty dash forty-three twenty-five. Questions about DUCOM or anything like that? No. But I was wondering if I could have the year-to-date totals on the other items. Emergency plan update, county records management, and Lexapol. I, I can tell you I don't think we spent any money on emergency plan update. That's more if there's some changes in the laws that we have to adjust the city emergency operation plan. Uh, Lexapol is a flat subscription rate, so... We should spend maybe a couple bucks under what is budgeted, but I check that every year and we pay that. What's a couple bucks? Well, it, we probably round up to 5,800 and it's 5,763. All right, and county records management? And th that's what they gave us for this year, you know, Tell and again, as you can. see, this will be the last year probably that it's going to be that cheap. That's a good oh, number we though. talked about, you yeah. talked about that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. right, all right. Okay. So we go down to capital purchases. Uh, can we hmm. go up to 4337? Okay. Uh, Fiat and Children's Center. Are these fixed costs? I mean, are these because they don't change over the years? Those are solid numbers. Those don't change. The okay. Fiat is the uh, ch um, our felony um, investigations uh, consortium. And the uh, children's centers, the, the the people who do our uh, uh, sexual assault and other investigations where a child is abused. And we spend that money every year. We, it's the same every year, yes. And Dumeg is is based on a per capita, uh, the number of officers that we have. And uh, 
Can we, before we go to capital Why purchases, can like we back up a second to, Frank. and I apologize because I know we had this discussion last year, replacement vests? Yes, sir. Um, how much does a vest cost? It costs between, uh, <laughs> for, for officers, it <laughs> ranges around somewhere between 575 and $900, depending on the vest. Okay, and these are different vests than we have for the auxiliary, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, they're, they're much higher rated vests. And what's our year to date on the vests? Going back. Go back on this page. Yeah, sorry. 4269. 4269. No, that's the account. No. That's uniforms as well. Oh. Yeah, it's not broken down. We don't have it broken down. Now keep in mind the the, the vests are, are uh basically manufacturer's warranty. Five years. Right? Five years. And uh we replace about half last year. Uh, we'll replace another eight this year th in the coming cycle. I think it is it eight, John. There's, there's a there's a schedule, and it, it, it's not a rhyme or reason for fiscal year 16. It's 13. Then we don't have any in 17. Of course, if we hire a new officer, that would pop in. But in 18, it's only three. Fiscal year ending 19, it's two. And then and we get 20, it goes 20, back. It goes back up to 16. Right. And this is based on when people were hired so and how they got into the rotation. That's number of vests that right. you're talking about. Right. Well, I'm talking about fiscal year 16 through 20. Hmm. You're looking about just replacing all of the department's vests. Okay. How many vests do you have? Well, we Everybody have has a vest, 34. Oh, 30. Well. Yep. So right, because because la between last year's budget amount and this year's budget amount, we're replacing about 28 to 30 vests. That would be, a, that, that, that's about right. Two years? Yeah. yeah. That's, uh, that's the, the wear out date. Because we figure, let's say average 700 a vest, 9,600 last year, 11,000 this year. So we, we actually, we got a deal on some of the vests this year off a state contract that some of the officers got. But Acme. then there, the, it, there's different ratings for vests. There's class 2A, 2, and, and 3A. 3A. 3A is the most, it'll stop more bullets than a 2, and then we'll stop more in a 2A. The officers get to choose if they want to wear a 2 or a 3A. The 3A is bulkier and heavier, but it does stop more types of rounds. So you do, though, have a schedule? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, have, I, I track it, hmm. and I also, we get reimbursed 50% through that federal program as long as they keep funding it. But it takes 12 months to get yeah. the reimbursement. We want, From the date we uh, apply for the reimbursement, it takes somewhere between 10 and 12 months. Yeah, I think we just, Marie just got some deposits made, and I had to go back and dig them out because they're slow to pay. Okay. And in the capital purchases, there's the SWAT vest kit, too, coming up. Uh, yeah, well, the SWAT, the SWAT vests are separate from right. the, so we have two officers that are operators, so they have to have the SWAT vest, and that's like a $3,000 purchase. Again, it's good for five years. Now, theirs is a flat jacket more than a vest. Yeah. Now, on these capital purchases and these SWAT purchases, for lack of a better word, we couldn't, like, not budget for them and then use seizure monies because it seems like they're upgrades to some extent oh problematically is they've been budgeted for before they've been purchased and if we we start taking out then it looks like supplanting and so if we're audited by the department of justice <coughs> we're, we will be probably kicked out of the program so okay before we go into capital purchases or anything uh Sylvia, no? No, no. Okay. question for you i'm gonna go back to page 11. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys want to talk about capital purchases or should we wait till the next budget meeting? Let's do capital purchases tonight. Okay. We're already 40 minutes so you just guys Sylvia wants to talk about fireworks. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Another two hours. Don't worry about it. All right. Live scan booking 26785 Obviously, it's a maintenance. That's for fingerprints? That's an upgrade for fingerprints. That's a, a replacement. I shouldn't say upgrade. We have a, the, the, uh, the machine we have now is outdated. Okay. Now, I, now we... The maintenance contract on the life scan we have expires this in year, June. right? In, in June. June. Yeah. So the 26-7, is there a separate maintenance plan that has to be purchased along with that? Not, not the way this is set up for that price, it'll include a three-year maintenance plan, which means if there's a problem, they'll send the tech out to fix it. And when these things go down, it sort of puts us in a pickle because they don't want ink prints submitted to the state anymore. 
Right. So yeah, that that price is based on having a three year contract, and then after that three years, we'll have to re up or decide if we want to take out another three year contract with them. And that contract runs about eleven grand for three years of service. Right. Okay. Okay. There's uh, two pieces of uh, uh, equipment that we want to take out uh, of the uh, capital purchases. What what are they? The uh, SRO laptop, the okay. school resource officer's laptop, okay. and the uh, SRO Roni um, optical side optical uh, piece of equipment. Okay. <coughs> we talked about the six replacement offer, officer chairs uh, or um, office chairs. I'm assuming nobody has an issue with that. SWAT equipment for thirty one hundred. Yeah, but that that. It, oh, go on. The, the SWAT equipment is requested by our two operators, um, and it's just some upgrades to the equipment they currently have. Um, some of it's like pants and things, but um, they're looking for some new flashlights for their their guns that they use during SWAT, um, some <coughs> new slings, uh, some buffers that make their rifles work better. So, so again, that, that is just general equipment it's not vests per okay. se okay but the, the quote we got on that was 2500 though is that correct the backup showing 2500 on that or me yeah did, did you get a breakdown of all the equipment because we put that looks together. looks like on yeah. the second page yeah, yeah it, it looks, looks like, like it's still 2, totals 25 yeah yeah one of the bigger more expensive pieces is the radio communication headsets they were um because they train with live fire this communication setup will block the gunshots, but they'll still be able to hear communication through the radio. I, mean, I don't know if you saw the pictures that were attached, but it's like a hearing muff. Yeah, my only question is the, the proposal is saying 2,500, and we're showing 3,100 in the budget. Mm. What page, Mike, is the back uh, up on, on that Page one? 42, <coughs> 41, 42. Well, I, I, actually, what I have is 2,500 of this is in the capital and then we move 400 into uniforms because four hundred dollars of it was for like uniform pants then it should so then it should be 25. yeah well then it should capital. be 21. Oh, 20. 2500 of equipment and then 400 under uniforms is what i'm oh. showing wait isn't, isn't the total quote for 2500 dollars well, for everything for 29 wasn't it yeah flip that for the SWAT equipment instead of 3100 is what you're saying, right? Yeah. Right. And then you're saying you moved 400 to okay. uniforms, so then wouldn't that make it 2,100? Oh, flip, flip back to the page you had. One, one second, uh, Mike. Not yeah. Hold. One more. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, the total was 29, right? Yeah, but this is moved to uniforms. Okay, right. So that yeah. that's what lowers it. Our, our price, it should have been 29 instead of the 31. And uh, 400 is being moved to uniforms, which makes it to 25. Okay, the, but the proposal saying twenty five hundred, not twenty. Oh, it's it so should have been with the four hundred. Twenty nine instead of thirty one. Okay, and uh, with four hundred being moved from there to uniforms, then it makes it to twenty five. So you can okay. change thirty one to twenty five. Twenty five, yes, ma'am. Got it. And I guess the same thing for the chairs. It looks like the chair backup says twenty four hundred versus the twenty one hundred. It's cool. really uh, to it's be honest with way, you. Don't do that. The, the the chair price we got some quotes. And what we'll do is, if it gets approved, we'll go out and search down the best price. My my guess is we'll come in under that. Um, but but again, I, I'm not. I I have a hard time locking prices now for something in May or June. A lot of companies want to. If they pr price it for you, they're not going to hold it that long. Okay. We we. I we think the point, John. It just didn't match again. That's all right. Oh. It, okay. it didn't match the back. Usually up, they match. All. So 2500 for SWAT equipment, no issues with that, anybody? Okay. So then the final two, new all-wheel drive supervisor vehicle for 50 grand and four admin vehicles for 100,000. Wow. Question, I, I, I asked a question last night regarding possible lease option, and I was told because of the wear and tear of the car would probably not be um, feasible. Earlier in the night, we talked on page 28, rent equipment and for $173,000 and there were some there were some lease vehicles in that in that line item it's not really no, a lease not, those were those were the 
the purchase, the, 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 the capital purchase was extended out over the, the term as a lease. It wasn't really a lease. Yeah, we purchased them for about 800000 We financed it with the bank, so our annual payment was 173000 that was reflected there. Um, okay. On the admin vehicle, I mean, is, is that $50,000 vehicle overkill for what's required? No, actually, it's, it's, it's underkill for what we've, we've done traditionally in the past. Traditionally, we've purchased all police-rated vehicles, or, or, um, pursuit-rated vehicles, and these are just basically it. Uh, the detectives don't need to, to pursue anybody. They won't be chasing people because it's unmar an unmarked car. Uh, and, uh, the CSO or whoever else uses one of these admin vehicles. I'm look, oh, she's I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The, the supervisor, the, the fifty thousand dollar one. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. I wasn't quite. Yeah, the four Tauruses. That that's. I get that. But the fifty thousand dollar Tahoe. But it's not just the price of the car. It's all so the, the yeah, car I know. price is about right. thirty five thousand. Right. You have the other costs as such as setup, decals, um, new equipment. Unfortunately, when the manufacturers change model years some of the equipment we currently have can't be reused and you have to switch it out what is the use of that vehicle that that's driven by one of the supervisors okay um the supervisor vehicles have extra equipment they carry extra weapons ammunition and other equipment john you're referring to sergeants when you say supervisors it's one of the sergeants so i guess for the audience purposes what's the what's the role of the supervisor at a particular you know where is that supervisor going and what's his role when he gets there he may have a a, a go bag if we have a, an act a active crime scene there's certainly tape crime scene tape uh additional weapons ammunition uh, uh entry tools just a lot of different equipment that the supervisor will have Okay, and it, so it's a, it's a larger vehicle, an all-wheel drive, as opposed to a, a sedan type of car. That's correct. But we, we drive Tahoes the, across the board. We, we put the supervisor vehicles as all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, so that if we get into storms, we have some vehicles that will be able to cross, you know, if the, the roads are so bad that they can't get through with the two-wheel drives, that gives us that option. To and have two, we have two vehicles in the fleet that are four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, right. and that's the two supervisor vehicles. For the audience, or for the residents' purposes, the audience, um, can you just, in, you know, very quickly explain what's being replaced? Yeah, um, actually, we have two four-wheel drives currently. One is a 2007 model year that was purchased in 2009 after one of our vehicles started on fire, if you remember. Um, that vehicle has got 85,000 miles on it. It's actually at the dealership now. There's something wrong with the engine. Our mechanic is thinking it may need a new engine. Um, and again, we replaced the rest of the fleet in 2012, but unfortunately, because we had had that fire, that one vehicle sort of offset, so that's the vehicle we're looking to replace. Um, and then the sergeant's cars? Well, no, no, no. That is the sergeant's car or supervisor vehicle. And are you talking about the administrative vehicles we're talking yeah, about? Yeah, so okay, just, just so, so people understand oh, what yeah. we're replacing with the new vehicles, the, the age of the equipment, the mileage. The administrative vehicles are all um, under the city's uh, new fleet management program and have been adjudicated to be beyond their, the, 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 our, their rating is such that it, they warrant, uh, I think, all of the vehicles come in at 80, and I think 70 is the cutoff, that, that, or 75 is the cutoff, and all of the, the admin vehicles that we're looking to replace come in at well above the uh, fleet management rating that warrants them to be replaced. That's the system we came up with for the public works vehicles. Yes, sir, vehicles. that is correct. If we replace the, going back to the supervisor vehicle, Okay, if we go ahead and replace it, what's going to happen with the one that's sitting in the shop now? Are you going to put good money into bed by replacing the engine and then sell it off? Or are we going to just hold off on it for two or three months? How, how, what's going to happen with that one? Well, right now there's some negotiation with, with, the, with the manufacturer that, who's saying that they may give a really good deal that, the, that may make it worth repairing before selling. If we don't, if we don't repair it and sell it, we're not going to get nearly as much. So uh, a, lot, a lot of it depends on what kind of deal they offer on the re, uh, engine repair. I think what I was trying to, the point I was trying to make is for those four Tauruses that are the $100,000 capital purchase component on the budget, the 
they're replacing the the youngest vehicle is seven years old and then the oldest one is 11. So they range from seven to 11 year old uh, vehicles that are being replaced. That's, that's correct. That's Two, the point I want to make. 2005, 2007, 2006, and 2004 uh, years that are being replaced. But again, these are all past the, uh, it's all based on our rating system. Yes. And they're beyond their. The Tahoe have a rating? I don't, I don't have that in front of me. I could get it for you. Now, I know these are estimates like we just talked about on the other ones, but the, the delta here is a little larger because um, the estimated cost for the four vehicles with the EcoBoost is 76,820 versus the 100,000. And that there's some equipment changeover included that they'd have to have computers put in, lights, uh, lights and sirens put in, even though they, they, they won't be. So it's be not a complete police package, but there would be some add-ons. Yes, ma'am. All right. Oh. And I'm sorry, I'm go ahead. I have a question. We need yeah. one more chair added to the his list. Geez, his chair just <laughs> took a dump, literally. <laughs> he broke it it's on purpose. We'll, we'll just do all we, of ours to make Yeah, can we make <laughs> seven you. chairs? Then. Jorg, what were you saying? And I, no, we... You mentioned this earlier. When, when are we expected to start replacing the patrol cars? FYE 18. So between yeah, 17 to 18. All right. So as much as I don't really want to spend money on new vehicles, I would hate to throw more vehicles further down the road. Well, that's the whole point. Right. Exactly. What's everybody's feeling? Yeah, I don't think you have a choice. Or or on what? I think, I think issue. the justification for the four is there, and I think the justification for the one all-wheel drive is. You there. picked up two before, and you picked up two before and seizure, okay? So how does how does that process? You know, did we just happen to get lucky on in those instances where we just picked them up at the time we needed the cars, or we 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 we're not doing seizures anymore. We're doing the administrative tolls, so we're we're not seizing vehicles that way. Okay. The uh, uh, Supreme Court, there was a big Supreme Court ruling that changed how we seize vehicles okay. and. Uh, the risk outweighed the gain, so we no longer so do that. No longer do that. that. That's not likely an op option. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll just take it to a, 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 a vote. I am, I'm for it, so who else? He's for it? Oh. Yeah. For it. So 7-0, so we stay in. Um, any other questions on the police budget for tonight? Okay. We start with municipal services. N exactly. Our next meeting will be uh, February 24th at 6.30 p.m. again in, in the City Hall. Um, we will start with municipal services. Um, do I have a motion to adjourn? Sylvia, <laughs> Christina, all in favor? Aye. 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 Good night. Where can we hide the candy for Frank, next Frank time? broke your chair. <laughs> when's, uh, when's Did your chair?